Welcome to this beginner's guide to ChatGPT, where in just under 10 minutes, you'll learn everything you need to know to unlock the full potential of this incredibly powerful tool developed by OpenAI. First, let's set up your ChatGPT account. Simply click on the first link in the video description to navigate directly to the sign up page. Once there, click on sign up. You can register using your email address or by connecting your Google or Microsoft account. Next, choose a secure password. To activate your account, head over to your email inbox and locate an email from OpenAI. Click on the Verify Email Address button. This will redirect you back to OpenAI, where you'll need to enter your name. The next step is verifying your phone number. Enter the verification code sent to your phone. Then, you will receive a message informing you that ChatGPT may occasionally generate inaccurate information and it is essential not to share sensitive data. Simply click on Next and Done to proceed. Congratulations, you've successfully navigated to ChatGPT. Now let's dive into the tutorial. All right, now that you've successfully signed up for ChatGPT, let's take a quick tour of the dashboard. The ChatGPT dashboard is very similar to messaging apps that you're already familiar with, making it easy to get started right away. Here's a quick breakdown of the main components. The bottom text box is where you'll enter your prompts or questions. You can type in your input here and ChatGPT will generate a response based on your input. On the left side panel, you will see a history of all of your conversations between you and ChatGPT. To start a new conversation, you can simply click on new chat and to delete the chat history, just click on clear conversations. On the bottom left, you can also switch between the light and the dark mode. And then you also have the option to upgrade to the premium version, which will give you priority access to chat GPT and new features. Now that we're familiar with the chat GPT dashboard, let's start by exploring some simple prompts. Prompts are what you type into chat GPT, like questions or instructions to tell it what kind of output you're looking for. Chat GPT is designed to be conversational, so you can ask it anything from factual queries to casual conversation starters. Let's type something like, what is the capital of France and hit send. Chat GPT will quickly generate a response, which should say something like, the capital of France is Paris. You can also ask Chat GPT for recommendations such as, I really like the movie Inception. Can you recommend some movies that are similar? ChatGPT will then provide you with suggestions based on your input. It can also help you with tasks like creating a list or summarizing information. Input a request like list five healthy snacks. The AI will generate a response with a variety of snack suggestions. If you need a quick definition or explanation of a term, just ask ChatGPT and you'll receive a concise explanation. You can also test ChatGPT's knowledge by asking trivia questions. For example, you can ask, who won the 2021 Super Bowl, to see if it knows the answer. As you experiment with different prompts, you'll start to get a feel for how the AI responds to various inputs. Now we'll explore some more advanced inputs and follow-up refinements, demonstrating how you can have an interactive and dynamic conversation with ChatGPT to get the desired output. First, let's start with the prompt. I'm having three friends over for dinner tonight, and I want to cook something healthy that I can make in 30 minutes or less. Please give me three options. ChatGPT will then generate a response suggesting three dishes that fit your criteria. Now, keep in mind that ChatGPT remembers the context of the conversation, allowing for a natural back and forth exchange. So after reviewing the options, let's say we like the first one and then ask ChatGPT for a shopping list and a step-by-step -step recipe for this dish. ChatGPT will respond with a list of ingredients and detailed cooking instructions. Now let's say we receive a text message informing us that one more person is coming to dinner. We can then simply ask ChatGPT to adjust the shopping list and recipe for one more person. ChatGPT will then modify the ingredient quantities and adjust the recipe as needed. Now that we've explored simple and advanced prompts, Let's challenge ChatGPT with some creative prompts. AI is not only great for answering questions and providing recommendations, but also for generating unique creative content. For example, let's try creating a unique superhero character using this prompt. Come up with a unique superhero character and describe their powers and backstory. After hitting send, 
ChatGPT will generate a response, crafting an original superhero with a compelling backstory and an intriguing set of powers. However, let's say we want to expand on the superhero's story and explore their relationships with other characters. We can refine the output with a follow-up prompt. Please describe the superhero's sidekick and their dynamic as a crime-fighting duo. By refining our input, we can guide ChatGPT to create new aspects of the story, fleshing out the superhero's universe with more detail. So if you're writing a story or you need to come up with a unique speech for a specific event, ChatGPT can definitely help as your writing assistant. Now that you have a good idea of how ChatGPT works and what you can do with it, let's quickly go over my favorite five applications of ChatGPT that are actually useful and can save a lot of time. The first one is kind of obvious, it's just content creation. And this could be anything really like a formal email to your boss, a creative caption for an Instagram post, or maybe a motivational letter for a job application. Let's say we're applying for a job at Google and we have to write a motivational letter. ChatGPT will quickly write a draft of what the motivational letter could look like. If you then want to change something or you want to include some specific details, just ask ChatGPT to make these adjustments and generate the revised text until you're happy with the result. This is definitely a game changer when it comes to creating content efficiently. The second useful application of ChatGPT is text and video summarization. For example, let's just type please summarize this and then copy and paste this news article. And in seconds, we have a short summary. In case we don't fully understand the summary, we could just ask something like explain this to me like I'm five years old and we'll get a simplified version of what's happening. You can also have ChatGPT summarize any YouTube video. The easiest way to do this is by installing the browser extension called YouTube Summary with ChatGPT. Once installed, just open up the YouTube video you want to have summarized, then open up the transcript and summary and click on the OpenAI logo. This will automatically import the transcript to ChatGPT and when you hit enter, it'll summarize the entire video for you. Another incredibly useful application of ChatGPT is coding. For example, we can use the following prompt. Write me a code in Python that shows me the current temperature in every capital of the United States. And ChatGPT writes us the code for that particular task in the coding language Python. And it also gives us instructions saying that we need to sign up for an open weather map API key to make this code work. If you're currently working on a code and there's a bug but you can't quite figure out what it is, ChatGPT can also help you with that. Simply paste in the code that you're working on and ask to debug this code. ChatGPT will then explain to you what the problem is and give you the corrected code. Another great use case for ChatGPT is to use it for getting ideas. For example, let's say we're traveling and we have two days off in London. We could now ask ChatGPT to give us some ideas of what to do with our two days in this city. This will give us a nice list of things to do and if we want to go one step further, we could now ask ChatGPT to create a schedule for our two days in London including a to-do list of things we need to organize ahead of time. It's basically like having a personal travel assistant available at any time. The last useful application I want to share with you is ChatGPT's ability to act as your coach or teacher in almost any subject. So let's say we want to learn a new language. We could tell ChatGPT that we want to learn French and that it should act as our French teacher and say that our goal is to be able to order food in a restaurant. ChatGPT will then start by giving us some basic vocabulary. Once we have the basic vocabulary down, we can make this a bit more interactive and ask ChatGPT to test our knowledge. We can also ask to have a conversation with us where ChatGPT should act as the waiter and we will be the customer ordering some food in French. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe. See you in the next one.